Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another What I Eat in a Day video. Thank you so much for joining me for a fantastic day of food. So it's actually a weekend. Normally I don't upload these on the weekend or film them, um, but today I was going to do a little bit of baking and I know so many of you guys love it when I include baking content. So today my plan is to make a blackberry and apple crumble, which... I'm very excited about. I know a lot of us are finding solace in our kitchens at the moment, especially now we're in lockdown too here in the UK. So it's nice to get in the kitchen and get creative and just keep our minds and our hands busy. So that is going to be part of our menu today. And also, um, we're going to be having a keema curry. And keema curry is something I don't have very often, but it's a fantastic one for autumn winter. It's a great way to get loads of veggies in your system and also to use what you have going on in the fridge. I know right now it's not as easy as it was a few weeks back to just pop to the supermarkets or to get your shop delivered. Everyone's struggling at the moment to get out and about and find the time. So that's going to be the plan for tonight. It's a very aromatic dish, ideal for big families, big gatherings, not that we're having much at the moment, but also ideal for squirreling loads away in the freezer for a rainy afternoon when you don't fancy cooking. So that is the plan. I've already had my breakfast, I had Weetabix, which is something I actually don't have very often, and I was surprised just how low in point value Weetabix are, so that was a fantastic one. I just added it with some sultanas, which gave it a really nice fruity kick, and that was really great. And then for lunch, I'm not too sure. I'm thinking about making a fake away, kind of a fake Nando's chicken wrap situation, or chicken on pita. I'm not too sure, but I know I have breaded chicken that I want to eat at least two a week, so... Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. This jumper is one I picked up very recently from a charity shop. It's originally by H&M and I just loved that olive green colour. I think it's actually quite rare to find um, a colour in this kind of olive green. I really like it. I'll try and link what I can. And yeah, let's get on with the day. So we're actually going to bake the pie now. So, well, not the pie, the crumble. So I'm just going to get started and hope you all enjoy it. The recipe Layla and I are using actually comes from the Hairy Bikers. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. But WW do offer lots more point-friendly options if you wanted to choose something that was in line with your budget. They do lots of different things. Like this one here, this apple and oak. Um, crisp which is quite similar to a crumble um, so do check that out it's definitely an area of the app that's sometimes overlooked and if you want something that's a bit more point friendly you can definitely opt for that Crumble is made super easy and so aesthetically pleasing. I mean, doesn't that look like autumn and winter in a pie dish? This dish is actually from the White Company and I love it. I treated myself to it a couple of Christmases ago and honestly, I use it for lasagna, shepherd's pies, crumbles, everything. I just, I love it so much. It's massive. Um, so this is actually quite a big crumble, um, so it should last us a few days. But we're not going to pop it in the oven just yet. I want to bake it just before we want to eat it so it's nice and warm. I don't want to reheat it. So we're going to just leave it and allow all that cinnamon and sugar to infuse and make the apples really tender and caramelly. Um, it's going to be delicious. But yeah, yeah, I can't give you an accurate point value guys, but I'm sure if you check the ingredients, I'll put them in the description box down below with your app. You can definitely check that out per serving. <laughs> So, as I mentioned before, we're going to be having like a fake Nando's for dinner. So, you saw that those chicken pieces were 5 points per 100 grams, which is actually less than what I've made here. But I'm also gonna have some light mayo on the bottom. These flatbreads that I'm using are five points each. When you scan them, they do come up with six points. You guys see me have them all the time. But actually, when you weigh them out in grams, um, they are five points. Again, I'm not tracking, but I like to give you guys the information should you want it. And I also have my chicken that I'm just gonna pop on one side. 
There we go. And that's probably equivalent to like a burger size or something. And I have some cucumber that I'm just going to pop on as well. Again, this is nothing too special. Not that aesthetically pleasing. But all I'm going to do is literally fold it over in half and then cut it through the middle with a knife. Again, nothing too technical or gourmet going on here it's just a chicken wrap essentially but i just wanted something to mark the weekend something quite delicious and this definitely fits the bill for that so i'm gonna have that i'll put the point value in the description box oh gosh there i'll put the so i'm just gonna put that on a plate and go and enjoy um again not too much in regards to point value 10 points for chicken wrap i think that's perfectly fine the afternoons are getting so chilly now that the punch <laughs> Every time I wear this, I feel like my mum. Mum, if you're watching, it's happened. I've become you. Um, yeah, it's got a bit colder, so I've just popped the heating on and also this nice cuddly poncho. And I was thinking about afternoon snack, but then I thought, you know what? I'm having um, that um, crumble after dinner, so I don't want anything too sweet for now. So what I thought I might do is have a hot chocolate. Now, this is not the best in regards to point value. It's 14 points for one hot chocolate. Um, so, you know, it's probably quite typical if you're used to scanning when you're out and about in Starbucks and places like that. Um, but in regards to pointing, you can get WW hot chocolate sachets and you can also get ones that are a bit more point friendly. Um, I'm just going to have a classic today and I'm going to make it in my Velvetizer, which you guys will have seen me talk about, I'm sure, many times. This is something I use so frequently. I love it so much. It's become such a well-loved piece in my kitchen. And I only really bust it out autumn, winter time, or in the summer if I want a treat. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have one of those now. It's so simple, you basically just add milk, any kind of milk, almond milk, regular milk, semi-skimmed, skimmed, and then you pop the real chocolate in. This is just shredded up real chocolate. So no powder, no additives. It's just pure grade chocolate. Um, and then you go done and it's whippy, delicious, velvety and soft and it's just the one. This will taste infinitely better with whole milk but I'm going to have semi skimmed and as you can see it's pure chocolate that you would just pour in and it whips up and it's beautiful. Touch of a button you have gorgeous velvety hot chocolate. time to make dinner and as I mentioned before I'm going to be making a keema curry now this is a fantastic opportunity to check whatever you have in your fridge that needs eating I have some peas here I have some carrot feel free to pop some potato in as well I have some yogurt a very specific blend of spices which will be in the description box down below some chopped tomato a nice big onion two cloves of garlic fresh coriander fresh ginger olive oil, salt and pepper, and of course my lamb mince. You can use beef steak mince if you want to make it leaner. This is pretty much a one pot wonder. I'm going to cut my veg and dice it all up, get them frying, get them to take on lots of colour, lots of flavour, and then I'm going to blend my spices in the meat with the yoghurt, and then just combine it all with the chopped tomatoes. It's very, very simple, uh, but feel free to check out the description box and check out the actual recipe. I'll post that down below. And um, yeah, the only thing you really have to factor in here is the yogurt. Now we're using lactose free, but you can use fat free yogurt, which is of course free. And then lamb mince. For this portion, and this will serve four people, you're looking at about six points. And of course the rice that you will add later. So it's not actually that bad in regards to point value because you don't end up having a massive portion of the lamb. But that's what we're going to have, so I'm just going to get started. <laughs> Supposed to feel. Hey. Hey. 
I cannot tell you how good this smells. Honestly, it smells delicious. Now, I've opted to have this with custard. This is the Tesco's custard. A smooth and creamy custard made with British milk and sweet vanilla enriched with Madagascan vanilla seeds. And honestly, I think I've had this before. Um, I don't have it often, but when I do, I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna have myself a portion of that. I can't give you guys an accurate point value for the crumble because I didn't I didn't track it at all. Um, but I can give you one for the custard in case you're curious or if you're thinking of making something similar and you want to take the easy route and have um, a supermarket custard to go alongside. Um, I'm anticipating this to be quite high. 14 for quarter of a, a portion, like quarter of a, a jug, which I would say is probably a serving. Um, a lot, but again, you know, I'm not pointing, and also I'm trying to up my calories, and you know, I hope what this shows you guys, let me review. you, I hope what this shows you is that once you get to goal, once you get to maintenance, you don't have to be as strict, you don't have to be counting forever and deny yourself, you can eat really deliciously, and maintain your figure, and maintain your weight, in a very realistic, comfortable um, way. And this is just a way of showing you guys exactly, I've had a hot chocolate today, I've had this, you know, I'm not denying myself. And I think, you know, people think that they're on a diet or WW, whatever you want to call it, a lifestyle plan, and they have to stick to it forever. And that's it, but you don't. And I hope this shows you guys that. What a fantastic day of food. Just had my crumble. I don't want to toot my own horn, but honestly, if I'd have ordered that in a restaurant or bought it, I would have been 100% happy. And I don't make a crumble often, guys, but it was delicious. You know, nothing else to say that that is definitely going to become part of our cozy comfort food menu. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys here. I'm not going to be eating anything else today. I am absolutely full, I could burst every in that much food, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here, I'll probably just have water, I might have a cup of tea in the evening, but that's pretty much it, so I'm gonna end the video. But thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check out the description box for recipes, all of that good stuff, um, more videos like this, subscribe to see them frequently from me, and I'll see you in my next one.